Fort St. Lucie police are continuing the investigation of a murder-suicide that happened early Sunday morning. Investigators tell us 51-year-old Giles Ballet pulled the trigger on his wife Giselle multiple times while she was sleeping before killing himself. Treasure Coast Bureau reporter Suji Nam joining us live from outside the Port St. Lucie Police Department. And Suji, you talked to investigators as well as neighbors. Yeah, and police say that marital issues and talks of divorce unfortunately led to this tragedy. And everybody that we talked to were shocked as they say the Belays were great people and even greater friends. I just could not believe what happened. Community members were in disbelief when they learned their neighbors died in a murder-suicide early Sunday morning. I was shocked. I was at work public, so I was shocked. Port St. Lucie police rushed to the 5400 block of Northwest Cromie Street after reports of gunshots. When they got there, officers found 51-year-old Gills Belay and his 52-year-old wife Giselle dead in their bedroom. Investigators believe he shot her multiple times while she was sleeping before killing himself. It revealed basically that they've been having some marital issues, talk about divorce. Um, around 1.30 in the morning, we believe that the suspect, Mr. Blay, had contact with the two 16-year-olds, basically telling them to go to bed because they had church at, in the morning. Officials say the two teens were the couple's daughter and her friend visiting from out of town. I've been over the house, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. And the daughter is always walking the dogs. You know, I talk to her all the time. Chris Satani says Gills was a good friend and that he and his wife were great neighbors. No, he's a real nice guy. He helped you do anything. Come over, he helped you trim trees. He didn't, you know, he, he even did some painting for me. Nice people, he's always walking in the yard, very nice and clean. And now police are continuing their investigation of this tragic domestic violence situation. This is a homicide situation and a suicide uh, situation. So we want to make sure that those victims, you know, are being reached out to. And I asked Chief Richard Del Toro if there were any previous calls for service at that home. He tells me there was one call, but it was a medical issue, not anything regarding domestic violence. As for the two teens that were inside the home, officials say that they were physically unharmed. Reporting live in Port St. Lucie tonight, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News.